welcome to Bree's Project Book. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And if you're coming back, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click that button and subscribe. And also click the bell twice so you're able to get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Today we have something fun during this stay at home or quarantine. My YouTube sister for Kenya's Decor Corner had tagged me for the quarantine tag. Now, I'm not quite sure who started this, but there are 10 questions that we need to answer for the tag. Question number one is, did you prepare for the quarantine or did you wait until the last minute? So, uh, I didn't wait to the last minute, but um, I think we may have waited a few days, not more than a week when we heard that China was infected with some sort of virus that were putting people in a hospital. And then the next thing I heard, it was other countries. I don't know if it was Spain or Italy that came next. And my husband was saying, mm, maybe we should start getting prepared because it's easy for someone to come from over in those places, come back to the United States and spread it. And also it's a virus. So, you know, it can travel. So, he thought that maybe we should get prepared. Now, we didn't have to do too much because we normally get all our staple items in the beginning of the year. And um, we just basically shop for food. And since I, I normally shop every two weeks, we went ahead and just shop for the month. Um, but when I got to the grocery store, it seems like everybody had that idea. So, it was some lines in the commissary <laughs> on the base. Um... And there were, I was, I must have been in that line for at least an hour, hour and a half of waiting to get to the cash register. But, but I guess you could say we did prepare. So that was question number one. Question number two, are you secretly happy you're home or are you miserable and can't wait to go out? I wouldn't say it's a secret, but I am a, not a homebody, but if it was up to me, I would be a stay-at-home wife. I love taking care of my home. I'm not, I don't like cooking per se, but I love trying new recipes. I love preparing my meals, and I love taking care of my husband and, and things of that nature and decorating. Um, the downside of that is since the, clo the stores are closed, you can't go shopping for your home and you can't go out to restaurants and spend time with your friends and, and husband and, and things of that nature. So there are good things and then there are some bad things um, that this brought about. So yeah, that's number two. Question number three, who was the last person you checked on during the quarantine? Last person. It's kind of hard to say because, you know, we are trying to contact everybody we can, especially those states that was hit hard, like New York, Detroit, and um, I think maybe even Florida. And we have family in all of those places. So somehow we reached out to them or they reached out to us, but we try to, you know, contact those people and see how they're doing, if they need anything, um, just to see what's going on and if there have been any um, issues or, is, or something that we need to be aware of. So, yeah, that's question number three. How do you normally spend your day during quarantine? I try not to, I'm a creature of habit, so I try not to change my schedule. I normally get up in the morning around four o'clock in the morning um, to go to work, but since we are at home and I'm teleworking, I my eyes will pop up at four. Um, we'll pop open at four o'clock, but I normally just lay there, you know, leisurely. Um, but normally my day starts at six thirty, and then around three o'clock, I finish teleworking and I will go downstairs. I normally I go to the gym, but I do some form of exercise. Either my husband will go out walking, or we exercise together, or I do some kind of thing, um, with daily burn or something like that. And then we'll eat dinner, spend some time together, look at some of the news, maybe watch a movie. Then I'll read a book or do some things around the house, do some decorating projects or some organization projects. But 
yeah, my day is filled with things that I normally do, but then I have more time to do those things that I love to do. How do you know me? Oh, that was number four. Who are you quarantined with? Well, I'm quarantined with my husband. Um, he, telework, he teleworks upstairs in the kitchen. I'm downstairs on the bottom floor in my office. And it's, it's surreal, actually, because... <laughs> I mean, I, at any time, I could go in there and I could see him during the times I'm working. And also, you know, you can hear each other, conversate, or have meetings, um, virtual meetings. Um, so we try to stay, you know, have some sort of respect with each other's boundaries while he's having his meetings upstairs and, and vice versa. But it's, it's good. I like it that he's close by. And um, I can touch him whenever I want to <laughs> during the day, even if he's working. So, yeah. Have you been outside and how many times? Hmm. Well, I've been outside. Um, we, like I said, we sometimes we go for walks. But um, every, I'm thinking every two weeks or so, we may need to go to the store and pick up some eggs or something like that. Or we may go to Lowe's because we need something for the house or something might break or something like that. So we have been going out, but not that much. We normally stay in um, since we have the stay, in, stay at home order and we normally try to abide by that. So we don't go out that often. How many hours per day are you sleeping? <laughs> I wish I could say that I get about 9 to 10 hours since we've been home, but that is not true. <laughs> like I said, I'm a creature of habit, so my eyes will pop open even at 4 o'clock in the morning when it knows it needs to get up. But I try to get at least 6 hours on a good day, 7. So since we have been on this quarantine, um, I try not to get out of bed until I have to, just to force myself to get a little bit more rest. If I'm really tired, I probably will sleep until about seven, for about seven hours. What is your favorite food to snack on during the quarantine? Well, <laughs> most of us probably gain about one or two pounds since <laughs> we've been on quarantine snacking. But I have a favorite food that I snack on anyway. It's called a Smart Food White Cheddar Popcorn. And since we've been on quarantine, I've been snacking on that more. But I have to watch myself because I can go through that bag, if I'm not careful, a bag a day. But um, that is more what I'm eating more of now. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's smart food or if it's organic or what have you. Too much of anything is not good for you. Question number nine, what have you been watching? Hmm, I'm not a television person and I try to stay away from too much news because it's, it depresses me. But I do um, look at YouTube to watch my girls um, do their thing, get inspiration from a lot of the YouTube creators out there. Um, I also look at Hulu and Netflix. I love documentaries about ancient civilization like Egypt or Tibet or things of that nature. And I love looking at doc documentaries about space and earth and nature. I have a secret crush on Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> I think he's so sexy. <laughs> So, yeah, that's what I normally watch. But, uh, you know, every now and then, if I feel like it, I'll look at Supernatural. And, um, you know, I like sci-fi things. So, it doesn't, I don't look at them often, but every now and again. How much toilet tissue did you buy? Actually, I didn't buy any. I Every beginning of the year, we shop for our staple items. And that includes toilet paper. So, I buy about 62 rows, which would last us till July, and then I will replenish. But I didn't need to buy any toilet paper. I'm still trying to, I'm still confused about what toilet paper has to do with the respiratory disease. I don't know. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> but my husband, since he is, he works for the hospital, he has shopped for those huge, 
sanitizing wipes. So he's beginning those and the big boxes of rubber gloves and um, masks and things of that nature because every now and again he has to go back to work since he's in a essential list uh, for meetings or reports. So, yeah. And that was it. That was the last question. That was fun. I thought this quarantine tag would be a lot of fun and something different to do. I also get closer with you guys to let you... Um, Get closer to knowing me and I think this was great thank you Kenya for tagging me all the questions and the answers to the questions will be in the description box below also the people that she tagged I will list that in the description box below so thank you guys for joining me and I will see you on the next video see you soon smooches